we want to find the indefinite integral or the antiderivative. To do this, we'll be applying these two integration formulas. But before we do this, we do want to rewrite some of the terms of the given integrand. We'll go ahead and leave this first term as 2x to the fourth, since in this form we can go ahead and apply the power rule of integration given here. And for the second term, we have minus three divided by x. Well, it might be tempting to write this as minus three times x to the negative one by moving this x up to the numerator. We're gonna go ahead and leave it in its current form, or maybe even write minus three times one divided by x so it fits this integration formula here. But for five divided by x to the fourth, we are gonna move this x to the fourth up to the numerator, which will change the sign of the exponent. So we'll have plus five x to the negative fourth. And then for the last term, since we have a square root and the index is two, this is x to the first, we're gonna write this using a rational exponent or minus four times x to the power of one half. And now we're ready to integrate. To integrate two x to the fourth, we'll have two times the antiderivative of x to the fourth, which would be x to the fifth divided by five. Then we'll have minus three times the antiderivative of one over x, which is natural log absolute value of x, plus five times the antiderivative of x to the negative fourth would be x to the power of negative three divided by three. Remember, we're adding one to the exponent, so it's x to the negative three divided by negative three plus four times the antiderivative of x to the one half. Adding one to one half would be three halves, so we have x to the three halves divided by three halves plus a constant of integration. And now we just need to simplify all this. So I'll write this first term as two fifths x to the fifth minus three natural log absolute value of x. Notice how we have a negative here, it's gonna be minus five thirds x to the negative three. And here, instead of dividing by three halves, we'll multiply by two thirds, so plus four over one times two thirds x to the three halves plus c. Let's simplify one more time. We have two fifths x to the fifth minus three natural log absolute value of x. Let's move this x to the negative three down to the denominator so that the exponent would be positive three. So I have minus five divided by three x to the third. This would be plus eight thirds x to the three halves plus c. So notice how we found a family of functions because of this plus c, meaning we can add any constant here such that the derivative of this function would be equal to the original integrand in the integral. So this would be our antiderivative or the indefinite integral. I hope you found this explanation helpful.